good day thank you for watching my name is alphonse foco today i'm going to show you guys how to test your high voltage microwave capacitor remember the high voltage microwave capacitor is the one who keep the energy in the microwave and help the microwave to start and be careful when you remove this microwave high voltage capacitor because it keep capacity inside and then it can kill so today we're going to teach you how to test it in two ways by using your continuity and by using the capacity capacity capacitor so using the capacitor meter will help you to know if your capacitor still have his nominal capacity use the continuity will help you to know if the capacitor is on short circuit or not and use the ohm meter will help you to know if our capacity still have the 10 mega ohm resistor so i will advise you to watch this video till the end so we can do the test with our multimeter first of all we got two capacitor here i'm going to tell you that this capacitor is is an old one capacitor and this one is a new one so let's do the first test here we're gonna do use our multimeter we put on the test of continuity like i say the test of continuity here is to know if our capacitor is on short circuit or not so if the capacitor is on short circuit the bars will go continually like this let's do our first test on this capacitor we do the first test no bars we change the polarity we got one beep and no continuity bars let's go to the second capacitor we use the two pin we got a bars continue bars non-stop bars meaning this capacitor got a problem if i change the polarity we still have a continuity bars mean this capacitor is on short circuit it's not good capacitor this one yeah we got the beep and then it stop this is the first test with continuity so if you use your continuity on your multimeter and you got this result we now say this one is damaged because it got a long bars continuity and short circuit let's do the second test we go to our multimeter we put it on on meter as you can see in the capacity we got 10 on me 10 megam on this capacitor so we're going to test it let's test the 10 megam on the capacitor and see we all see we got 3 megaohm, we got 4 megaohm, we got 5 megaohm, megaohms, and then let's see if we're going to meet our 10 megaohms. And then could show you that the capacitor is fine. We can add, we can even have 9 megaohms because they're always tolerance on the values. So even if we have 9 megaohm point something, it's still okay. So let's see where the capacity will stop we are on 10 megaohms already 10 megaohm point one 10 megaohm point one six one seven 10 megaohm point one three showing you as that the capacitor is good we can have a value of 10 megaohm on this capacitor showing us the capacitor is good let's go to the second capacitor and see oh we got 1.4 ohms yo this capacitor is very in short circuit so you can see with our second test we can see that this second capacitor is having a short circuit it got 1.4 ohms 
just see the difference between 1.4 ohms and 10 megams. Let's do the test test. I'm going to the capacity test now. And then I'll select my capacitor to capacitor test. Let me put it on uh, 100 microfarad. As you can see in those capacity, we have here our 10 megams. We got a capacity sign here. And the value of this capacity is the 1 microfarad. And we check this one. We can see the value of the capacity is 0 0.9 microfarad. So actually we got like 1 microfarad to have between our capacitor. Let's check. We check the first one, this one. You can see in the multimeter we have 0 microfarad. 0, 0 microfarad. So that our 1 microfarad is not appearing in our capacitor. Showing us this capacitor is Damage. This is the third way of knowing this capacitor is damaged. Let's see the other one. We test it. We got check on the meter, and then you can see the 1.0 microfarad, which showing that is very good. You can show it very good. So you can see today I show you uh, two tests plus one bonus. In fact, I show you three three way of recognize the fake capacitor so in it come in the result that this capacitor is good and this one is not good physically also you can see a capacitor get get big like this so this capacitor is still good this one is still good this one is not good this one is good why is this one is good we got our 10 megom in output in this capacitor we got our one microfarad output in this capacitor and then we can see uh, our capacitor doesn't have a continuity test bars because it's not in short circuit that means this capacitor is good and this capacitor is not good because of what physically is it become big as you can see here and uh, secondly between this pin and this pin there's a continuity test mean that is in short circuit between this pin and this pin we don't have our 10 megom resistor we don't have it mean it's not good and we don't have our one microfarad in this two pin again so that is how to identify a faulty capacitor and a good capacitor so i'm so happy that you have watched this video till the end for a uh, more technical test i'll advise you to subscribe for my channel so that uh, you, in the future you can see a lot of tests uh, which uh, from our workshop we can offer you and then uh, thank you for watching my name is alphonse foku